you are living in filth and you don't even know it fall season which means you're about to marinate in it and steam up and simmer in it but that's why i'm here i'm here to help you help you before you hibernate in your filth i'm here to show you things that you should be cleaning or should have cleaned by now so a few things in this video will probably make you feel good about yourself because you've been on top of it and a lot in this video is going to make you realize something weird about showing you my toilet just rub it up and you call it clean but no huh ah but you can actually mop just once a week amen to that because, mm, i don't know between all the countries invading each other we moved here in july july August, september october baking soda cures all the japanese do it clean it <laughs> no way let me say my feel relax relax it can take up wrinkles it can stay dry it can wash waterproof stuff never i will not no so i can understand no i can't ah, let's do the youtube style it's a bathroom is there, there's something in the bathroom it's just oh lord let's go Let's start off with the biggest the one thing we should all be cleaning but we clean it wrong i know you do the i'm not rubbing this on my nice beautiful shirt but i know that's what you do you just rub it off and you call it clean but no you're supposed to clean this daily every day for those of you that don't know what daily is google the best way to clean your phone because love it will not be liable for anyone's two thousand dollar phone but here's what i do antibacterial wipe because this kills everything <laughs> Do I clean it every day? And clean the phone case. You see, a lot of us forget the phone case. We forget that this is what we hold on the daily. We care only about the screen because this is what we see. Bad. That's why the germs are all over there. And then you take it and you put it in your face. And blah. So you're good at keeping the kitchen clean. You go to bed every night with a clean kitchen. Yes, good for you. But how many times have you washed your dishwasher? Yeah, I bet you haven't. Do you know you're supposed to wash it every month? Do you know how many times Lovett has washed her dishwasher? We moved here in July. July, August, September, October. You're supposed to wash it monthly. So I know a lot of you haven't. All right, so here's what you're supposed to do. You simply take a cup of baking soda, throw that into the bottom of the dishwasher, and then take half a cup of white vinegar, and put that on the top rack run a cycle and that will clean your dishwasher i've actually seen online where people opened up the part that collects all the you know scraps from the plate and that looked disgusting so maybe you should look into doing that too now i have full faith that the people who lived here before us did all that because they kept the house clean yeah we'll see let's move on to the other part of the fridge fridge Obviously now you know, so let's just move on. I usually let the fridge guide me and when to clean, i.e. when there are lots of stains and stuff. Then I know yeah, it's time to clean. But you're supposed to clean the fridge quarterly, every three to four months. Baking soda cures all. Take a tablespoon of baking soda, mix it in one quart of water, and then wipe down, rinse it down, let it dry before you put the food back. Or you can say, you know what, no one has time to be keeping measurements or Googling measurements. Just use Dawn. I use Dawn done in water warm water wipe it down scrub whatever needs to be scrubbed down wipe it down and then put the food back in when was the last time you cleaned your fridge before we start putting in the chili and the turkey and all that this would be a good time to do that moving on to the kitchen floors some of you like to mop every single day because you think that's how you stay clean relax relax you don't have to do all that you can actually go a week in between mopping hallelujah because some of us are the janitors of our home if there are spills you clean whenever a spill happens but everything being equal no spills you can actually mop just once a week amen to that because we already have enough we have to maintain let me take you to a room and show you something that when i read i said mm -mm, no way let me say my filth because it ain't happening let me show you. but actually before we get to that one let's talk about this germ infested thing we use on the daily so there you are enjoying your favorite show doing what you usually do touching the remote and all not knowing you are touching a gazillion bacteria because the last time you wiped this remote was who knows when do you know you're supposed to wipe down your remote weekly i seriously think it should be daily or at least every three days weekly how not weekly listen 
Let's use some common sense here. They say weekly, they would know. They're the scientists and all. But I think we're talking several after a couple of days. What I usually do is just take antibacterial wipe because once again, why go through all that one cup baking soda worker? Just kill all the germs. That's what we're here for. Kill the germs. Are we worried about super bug? Mm, I don't know. Between all the countries invading each other and all that, I don't think it's a bugs we have to be worried about at this point. I think we have bigger issues to fry, don't you think? So, super bug, no super bug. Hey. Wipe it down. It saves you a lot of headache. But if you would like to go the route of no chemicals and all, because, you know, you live in organically, good job. That's what you're supposed to do. Then you're supposed to use one part vinegar, two parts water, and mix that up and wipe down. You're welcome. Then a white here. Do you know how often you're supposed to clean your window treatment? I think this is easy. Quarterly. Weekly dusting is expected, but you know, washing it, washing off the stains. So for those of us who haven't washed the window treatment since we moved in in July and now we're in October, hey, we're not doing anything wrong. But let me show you, if you have blinds or window slats, woof, blinds have shown me pepper. This things are much better than regular blinds. Trust me, <laughs> I would know I had a lot of blinds, but these are much easier. So I think... If you just put in mind, every once the season change, you do a wipe down. There you go. And I think online, they now sell things to make cleaning this type of things a lot easier. I just figured one day I'm just going to take a wipe with some Dawn soap, you know, just get it damp. And now let's go to that one where I said, I will never, I will not. No. Uh -uh. We are in the bathroom. Yeah. Guess what you're supposed to clean daily, i.e. every day? The toilet. The, who, who is cleaning the toilet every day? Granted, according to Britney Vers first video, the Japanese do it, clean it. <laughs> ah, the any windows. The Japanese clean the toilet every day. Love it is not doing that. Every day? Now, my toilet is right there, but you're not going to see it because I just, there's something weird about showing you my toilet. I, I just don't feel right doing that. So you're not saying that. But if you don't think we're in the bathroom, that's your headache. We are in the bathroom every day. I am not cleaning the toilet every day. But you know, what I do is bring you the information. How you use it, it's up to you. Well, since we're right here, how often do you wash your towels? I knew a colleague of mine who uses new towels every day. Yes, she's a mom of two. Every day she changes everyone's towels because she just cannot stand the thought of using the same towel that she used the day before on her skin. Her skin, she just washed. She can't stand using that same towel the next day. And to me, I thought that's madness. But no, the good news is you don't have to change it every day. You only change it after three to four uses. And since some of you don't even shower at all, you can probably extend that. But three to four use is time to use a new towel or wash the towel and reuse if you only have one towel. It's time to wash it. Now, in between washes, when you use your towel, you should hang it up to dry because, listen, this is a good bed for mold and mildew if it's damp, especially if you have kids and you constantly have to tell them, pick the towel up and hang it up. I think when you have kids, you probably end up washing towels a lot more. I know I joked about this, but when depending on the body wash you use, I think it's a body wash. Um, when you get out of the shower and you rub your skin, you can feel, you know, like a skin, whatever. I don't even know what it is. So some body wash, even when you wipe with your towel, you're leaving stuff on the towel, stuff other than water on the towel. So I can understand. No, I can't, but I can, I, I can get why some people would not want to use the same towel every day. They're not necessarily washing it every day, so they're not wasting water. You're just switching it. So I, I think I can kind of get it, but the advised move is three to four uses, and then you use a new towel or you wash it. Shower curtains. How often do you clean your shower curtain? I hate, I hate, <laughs> I hate the stuff on the shower curtain. And those things are so painful to wash. I hate them. But you're supposed to wash your shower curtains once a month. If you have those plastic liners, which a lot of us do, if you have shower curtains, you have the beautiful shower curtain and then the plastic liner on the inside. You're supposed to soak that in warm water and baking soda, and that will take care of all that soap scum and grime and all that stuff. I have never tried it. Can you, who can vouch for that? I've never tried it. What I do, I have a washing machine that does 
miracles <laughs> it can take off wrinkles it can stink dry it can wash waterproof stuff that's how good my washing machine is it's samsung i love samsung samsung hello so uh, now i can just put my uh curtain liner in there shower curtain in there and do the water-free wash and i'm good it works but what i've even done if i had that washing machine and now that we're renting and you know i don't have shower curtain here i have in the kids bathroom and actually my kids bathroom the shower curtain rarely gets dirty honestly it rarely gets dirty hallelujah so you know we can go more than a month i just do regular wash and it's good back in richmond before we got the great washing machine i would just buy the dollar something uh plastic liner and when it gets dirty or it has all that stuff in it um, I will, I just toss it. It's only a dollar something. It's not even worth my time trying to, but you know, try the, the warm water and baking soda. Let me know if that works, which means you have to start on hooking it and doing that. I usually just leave it on the hook and just go line by line with a brush and the soap and just brush it out. But you know, when you have the cheap one, I don't have time for that. I'm picky with the things I do with my time. So I just chuck it, but it's up to you. <laughs> Once again, do with this information what you want to do, not what lover does, do with it what you choose to do. We cannot leave this room without talking about the one and only toothbrush. I can't show you mine because mine, uh, what? you know what? <laughs> it needs to be changed. I think it needs to be changed because now I have a Bristol right here that is going out of place. But ha, let's do the YouTube style. Can you see it? Can you, can you, you're supposed to replace this quarterly? When was the last time you replaced your toothbrush? It's not about me. When was the last time you replaced your toothbrush? Uh -huh. Some of you haven't replaced it all year. Huh? Huh? Ah, uh, but I was going to put the Denzel. Listen, this video, love it. <laughs> Anywho, listen, you're supposed to switch this quarterly. Once the bristles, that's frilling, mine is right. I'm not touching my toothbrush with my hands. And then, I mean, Listen, this thing goes on my mouth. So if you can see it, you can see it. If you can't, you can't. So I think mine is saying it's about to, it's about time. So once you start seeing the bristles frilling, then it's time to get rid of it. Do you know how hard it is to find hard bristles? How many people prefer using hard bristles? I prefer hard. I want soft. I want you to scrape, scrape for the germ, you know? I want it hard. But you know, it's so hard to find hard to, well, it's not so hard. It's just when I go to buy toothbrush, I have to look and, you know, this is one of those. I, we usually have a pack when we were living in Richmond. We had um, a pack. So while traveling, we just took the pack rather than, you know, moving stuff. So should we do a part two? There's a lot more stuff, but I think it's, we can't just, I can't just bring it all on you. That's a lot. You need to digest this, process this, make the changes you need to make in your filthy lives. <laughs> Clean things up before we start hibernating okay we don't need to have another round two of you know what yes we still can see it but we don't need to have another round two so less and trust me cold and flu this seasons now post is whew, so let's 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 minimize the germs that we're living in okay all right if you've enjoyed this video i know it's very chillax is very cool if you've enjoyed it then give me the thumbs up do not leave especially since you've made it here without giving me the thumbs up even if you're watching this on tv you can give thumbs up on tv now if you sign on but if you don't then get on your phone give me a thumbs up and feel free to share it too all right thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video bye is a bathroom is there, there's something in the bathroom it's just oh lord let's go <laughs> oh, bye.